The 16th edition of the Absa Cape Epic is underway. The legendary African mountain bike stage race travels through the spectacular Western Cape over eight days of incredible racing. Entry is open to professionals and amateurs alike, all completing the same 630 km course. The 1300 riders compete in teams of two in what has become known as the Tour de France of mountain biking. Cape Town is the starting point for the 2019 race. It is a truly unique international city with the Indian Ocean to the east and the Atlantic to the west and overshadowed by the iconic Table Mountain. This is the location for the prologue. It's a short, sharp introduction to the race at just 20 kilometers. The times will count for the overall classification and will decide who will wear the coveted Zebra Leaders jerseys going into stage one. The prologue is hosted at the University of Cape Town and once the riders leave the campus, they quickly hit the sharp rises and technical descents of Table Mountain. There is 600 meters of climbing for the riders to prove their form and get their names into the spotlight. The women's race is more competitive than ever, with world and Olympic champions in the mix. It was four-time Absa Cape Epic winner and five-time marathon world champion Annika Langfall and her rookie partner Anna van der Breggen of Investec Songo Specialized who took the win. Van der Breggen is the Olympic and world road race champion, so for her to wear the orange Zebra Leaders jersey on stage one is an incredible welcome to the race. Third place in the women's race went to Team Summit Finn of Candice Lill and Adelaide Morath. Second place went to Cross Spur Racing of Ariane Luti and Olympic silver medalist Maya Wostowska. Just over two and a half minutes ahead and in the orange Zebra Leaders jersey is Langfall and Van der Breggen. The men's race saw third place going to Team Cross Spur with Sergio Manchcon Guterres from Spain and Andres Schink from the Czech Republic. They completed the course in 44 minutes and 34 seconds, just over 50 seconds off the winners for their first podium at the Absa Cape Epic. Second place in the men's race went to the exuberant pair of Manuel Fumich from Germany and Enrique Avancini from Brazil. The Canada Factory Racing Riders came second in the prologue last year and third overall. Their gap of 41 seconds to the winners today will not be of a worry to the experienced duo. The winners of the prologue team Scott Sram MTB Racing with the current Olympic and world champion Nino Schurter and his new partner, European champion Lars Forster, both from Switzerland. Schurter has finished four Absa Cape Epics and managed to win the event in 2017. For Forster, it'll be his first. They completed the short prologue course in 43 minutes and 41 seconds, giving them the honor of wearing the yellow Zebra Leaders jerseys for stage one tomorrow in Amanis. The prologue podium in Cape Town is a mix of experience and first-timers, and less than a minute separates them. Cross Spur in third, Cannondale Factory Racing in second, and the winners in yellow, Scotsram MTB Racing.